Colac City. Uh, this is the first time it's actually started raining since we've been here. Which has actually been a really good run. Adam and I have just booked a trip to Pee Pee Island tomorrow, followed by a shopping trip to Patong. Here comes the rain. First time it's been raining since we've been here. And it's really, really raining. We are about to board our boat. Uh, yeah, you're yeah. surrounded by a tropical paradise. This is cool. I can safely say it is extremely warm here. Very disturbing. All of that. So cute. Before we hit PP Lay, we have buffet food and then shopping. This is our restaurant. Very cool beachside bar. I like this tree. And we discover Burger King and Maccas. It is the second Maccas that I have seen in town. Huh? Yeah. It's a good shot. How bloody beautiful. This is what I pictured when I went was going to Thailand. Yeah, you seem to know what's going on. Are we gonna be late like we'll be able to get on? Like this, yeah. You jumping from the board like that, like that, like that. Not really long here, only 20 minutes. Okay. And after that, we go outside, so not ring. Okay? Uh, 20 better. 10 minutes, 
Yes. Would like to go swim? Let you change your bathing or swimming suit now. Sit down, sit down, just one minute. Come, you can sit from side, but come down. No, no, just you come down. You will drop the elbow here. Another one, you know, wrong. Get on there. Come on, Say hello, Adam. <laughs> I just got out of there, I have to say. Look at all the fish. We just snorkeled in there. He's feeding them. The water is so warm. So warm. So much fun. Sorry. Oh, no. <laughs> there they go. <laughs> look, look, look. <laughs> behind you, okay, behind you. <laughs> Adam's not impressed. <laughs> Very cute. <laughs> so much fun. How amazing is this rock formation by the way? Which is where we are swimming today. It's very deep. child who can't see. From the movie The Beach. We went through a lot of chopping water to get here. We're actually not allowed to go on there anymore. Before we head back to the main island, Adam's just come off our boat. Can't get over how amazing it is. Isn't that right, Adam? Yes. Thanks for watching, team. We know what we're going to do at the end of the video. We're going to smash that like button, comment, make sure you've subscribed, and you hit the little notification bell. As I'm filming the wrap up of PP Island, it is our last day in Thailand. We will be flying out at 9.40 p.m. tonight. There is gonna be another vlog after this, a fifth vlog, and that's gonna be our journey on the way home with the last few days of our holiday in the first part of the vlog. I thought I'd take this opportunity to give a review on the Beyond Resort in Kowlak that we stayed majority of our stay at. It's definitely not the one that I'm at now. This is the Slate Resort. It is for families, not just for adults. Have a look at our view. This is from our private balcony. Very green, very warm. Adam's currently enjoying our last opportunity at beach weather, which is where I have just been. You can see I'm a little bit soggy from the beach, from the ocean. Let's get into it, shall we? I have written some notes just so I don't forget anything. So where we did stay, majority of our stay was Beyond Resort in Kowlak. We booked via Luxury Escapes. I'm gonna actually link all the information down below as well as add in links to the previous four vlogs 
or is it three? This is the fourth. There's one more to come, so that makes five. The previous three vlogs as part of our Thailand holiday. We paid around $1,300 each, and that was for 10 nights. 10 nights, 11 days. That included breakfast, that included a cocktail every day, that included a massage every, no, eight massages each. Uh, it included the private villa, our private pool. It also included three free buffets for dinner and two co free cocktails with management team. When we arrived, I must say that I was extremely impressed with the lobby and I will actually include some uh, stills of the footage that I took. Finally, after many hours of traveling, we have arrived. It's actually really nice in here. We were greeted as we were here at the slate with a welcome drink and a fresh towel that was scented with like rosemary and some kind of flower. The grounds were very impressive. I believe that the grounds here are impressive, but not to the same effect. I think the grounds here are more family centric, whereas the ones in Cal, like they just found, they felt more relaxing with um, a lot more uh, water features and more rustic, not as polished as here. A couple of the drawbacks from Beyond Resort for myself were the lack of food options. They were as, as accommodating as they could be. They didn't have, because it is a third world country, they didn't obviously have a lot of mock meats or um, vegan cheeses or anything like that, which we didn't expect to have, but it would have been a nice surprise. The food that we did have was very nice. And once we discovered the other restaurant, the Cruel Cru Thai, we were set and it was a lot cheaper. And the, f the food I felt was tasted better but we did get a little bit sick of Thai. I know, we're in Thailand, hey. Another drawback for myself was the lack of activities at the resort. There is pros and cons to this. Uh, we did utilize the fitness center quite regularly. Um, we used our pool a lot. We did a lot of outside activities <laughs> and there's like people over there. But it would have been nice to have activities to partake in at the resort. That being said, the pros to that was it was uber relaxing. I don't think I've ever been that relaxed in my life and it's exactly what I needed. You know that I was stressed beforehand. The resort itself was located in a very beautiful setting. The beach was pristine, much better than the beach here at the Slate, which is just outside Phuket, um, near the airport, which is obviously where we need to go tonight. Customer service was 100% couldn't fault it. There was the first night hiccup, um, wasn't particularly good, but that was one time. The rest of the 10 nights was fantastic. And as I said before, extremely accommodating. And the last drawback for myself was it was extremely far from any ac external activities that we wanted to do. Because Kalak is not located near any other built up areas, which Adam really liked. I also enjoyed, I just thought that we could have been a little bit closer so we weren't doing like a two hour car ride every time. All in all, I would give Beyond Resort at Kalak via Luxury Escapes a eight out of 10. If you have not already, make sure that you check them out down below. I will link their website. I will also link Luxury Escapes website and I'll link the Slate Resort website. Thanks team.